Hello and welcome to some Sea Open at Texas. It's New Texas. And we've found ourselves a strong split here today. We've got a 4.7 strength of field. And we've also got Gavin in here, just coincidentally. Had no idea he was running. But uh, I guess we just ended up running at the same time. I was off work today, so I'm able to run at a time I normally can't. And uh, we're heading out for qualifying right now. I just got a set from OSR. I'm not quite as thrilled as I am uh, as I was with uh, the Xfinity set. I really like the Xfinity setup I had. This one I'm not so sure about, but I guess we'll see how it turns. Uh, how it turns out. Just I, feel, I, I wish I had a little bit more turn, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but. Uh, we're not going to be able to get up to speed on the first lap here, so I'm going to protect my tires. First time around. Gain speed out of 3 and 4, and then really go for it the next time. I'm the number 13 here today um, in this huge field, so... You know, I mean, it's been a while since I've had such strong competition sure I'm going to uh, get a reminder that there's a lot of people better than I am. <laughs> One more lap. But, alright, here we go for a uh, attempt at a faster lap. Position. That puts you off the pace. I just, I don't, I don't know, it doesn't feel quite right to me, the setup, it just feels slow. I wish it were more on edge. Just feels like I can stick it right where I need to put it every time. Way too easy. I feel like it would be faster if I weren't able to do that. The flag. It's over. And it just does it doesn't it feels tight already, and I don't like that. Alright, uh I should have uh Back to green flag stop. Uh, we still got time. I'll run around. Okay, Colton. Your water temperature looks quite high. Apply to him in a second. I'm no good at doing the replies in the car. <laughs> so, gonna get around here. Practice one green flag stop. I think I've got it pretty good. I got a good marker. Obviously, it's going to be tougher when the tires are, are, are uh, more worn. And I like coming to right where the black Texas sign starts right there, and then I give it a nice firm application of the brakes. And it looks like I get slowed down just in time. So, that should be good. Hopefully, we get the chance to. Do now. Looks like. He gave me good luck. Yeah, he's just responding by good luck. So. Yeah, we are the 13. I'm hoping we get lots of green racing. Sometimes these real high strength of field races, though, can be just as messy as a uh, 1K strength of field because everybody in here has won multiple races in their iRacing career and has probably dominated a race at one point and, you know, sometimes forgets what it's like to not dominate a race. I'm going to make sure I'm not that person today. I'm going to make sure I remember to put my tape back. I had it at 82. I probably could have pushed it a little harder, but whatever. Move that down. Pretty slow, but not crazy off pace. Couple tenths. You know, maybe that's the difference of having just a slightly better setup, maybe putting it 100% tape or something. Gavin probably going to go ahead and not qualify. Makes sense, says the 22 out of 27 cars to choose Your not to. Okay. All clear on engine temperatures. Hey, we're ready to go. Sweet. The session. P13. So we will start 23rd. I'm kind of putting trust into the field here, not to just start crashing immediately, but we'll find out if that is ill-advised. Session last lap. It's going to be the important delta to have up. We've got everyone's favorite sideways parking here, like we're 
in the parking lot of Walmart or something. <laughs> we don't have enough data for that. I hope my fuel calculator is good, because it was definitely not good in the Phoenix race of the K5 championship, race number two. It was all kinds of wrong. So I'm hoping it's not going to give me false information here. I might need it. I might need it to be correct, not I might need the false information. I don't need false information, to be clear. <laughs> We've got three sets of tires. That should be plenty for an 80 lap race, I imagine. Although, uh, you, probably, you can probably gain a lot of speed even if your tires are only like 95. So, maybe it'll come into play if we get some cautions. Uh, I qualified right where my number is. I guess that's all I can really aim for this race with so many fast people. I guess all I can really hope for is, you know, aim around my car number. It's nice to not be the one or two car. I almost can only ever race at 2 a.m. And where I'm always the one car or truck or UFO, whatever I'm driving. So it's nice to have a number that's in the double digits. I've, I've considered, I, I kind of want to maybe dabble into the Cup Series cars again, start getting back into the next-gen stuff. I never yeah, plan around really doing, like, NIS, but that would be a good way of pretty much guaranteeing a big number a lot of the time. But I don't, I haven't really liked the Cup car in the past, but I might give it another try. It's been a while. People have figured it out a little bit more. And uh, maybe I can get an idea of how it drives. So maybe I'll look back into that. I'll probably do some A open before I try anything like an NIS. But if I want to complain about being a low car number all the time, maybe that's one way I can get her get that fixed. So it's going to be one of green, so make sure uh, we uh, get all uh, organized, at least for the sake of the people behind us. We should be fine in 13th, but will the guy in 27th have it all organized <laughs> by the time we're ready to go? Who knows? Yeah. Is this a first gear start? No, this is second gear. I'm going to go second gear here. That seems a little bit too short. Too short of a shift, especially from 13th. Hopefully we'll get a decent look at the leader, or if not the leader, at least pretty far up there. I think we should be able to see him pretty well, though. And hopefully have ourselves a nice race. Kind of exciting to be in a big strength of field again. Get ready. First time I've been in one of these C or B open races. At the strong field in a while. Can't see him all. Right, car is not time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Kind of bunched up there. Right. Far so good. Thank you, sir. Oh, we got maybe some bobbling going on up there. I saw something going on. I'm not sure what it was. Trying to get it nice on that white line, get some nice rotation in it. A little bit of a check up there.
Kind of looking super speedway-ish right now. Uh oh, what's happening? No idea what's happening. Let it drive through somebody. No idea what's happening below us. What is happening? Y'all won three, y'all were like eight. I don't know what that was. Hell of a job. Clear. B15. What a drive, exactly. Damn. We got guys like on the apron down there. <laughs> There's still no caution either. Hopefully we don't have too much damage from that. Okay, I see a little bit on the left, or the right front. Okay, let's hit the apron, that'll make things better. That situation might have been one it would have been good to have extra monitors because I had no idea if I had one or two people below me because of people passing on the apron because of that whole mess. We're down on speed a little bit, I think because of arrow. So that's great. Someone on the wall there. guy's got more damage than I do. Smart about it and moves up higher because he knows he's down on power or something. Or just heavily damaged. <sighs> We're gonna lose some guys ahead though because arrow damage. Shouldn't be anything more than that though, because they just kind of barely got into the back of somebody. Guys are just flying up on me right now. No idea what started that chain of events. You know, before entering turn three, that lap. Just saw guys getting all kinds of freaked out. Die on me. No one ever wants to set up a pass, they just gotta go for I need people's draft if I want to keep up, I think. Hopefully I can follow Gavin. Yeah, just watch him drive away on straightaway. 
mistakes. <laughs> Get to the grass a little bit there. Is this slow or something? What's happening down here? This guy's passing this guy on the outside. I didn't, I didn't see that until it was too late. Guy getting in the wall over there. He's just driving by me. Straight away. Maybe we'll get the chance to come fix this at some point, but who knows? Should have been a caution when it happened. Like the wheel was taken out of my hands before I even got to get started here. It really stinks. Alright, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. So weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Or if that nah I'm done. I didn't do anything, I swear. Anybody else ride a really cool fence right now? You just need a caution to fix this damage. It's it's really just that simple. Unless this setup is just too tight, I want a looser setup. <laughs> I really wish this setup was looser. Get a little faster. I feel like I'm on the right front, no matter what I do. That was at the 2.6. Really stinks. Not really fun when you don't really get the chance to race right from the start. Everyone's all spread out, so I don't know if there's ever going to be a caution. I 
temp's looking at. Not to give it in the warning or anything, or like the caution zone or whatever you want to call it, where it turns kind of like yellowish first. Just a little concerned because it is kind of near the front of the truck that we got the damage, so. Don't know if it's going to be causing overheating issues. Doesn't seem like it though. Self spinning or something. I don't know what he's doing. Getting real loose. Obviously, I'm not going to pass him on the outside. That was just taking a wider, slower entry. I need this guy to go, though. He's got some serious damage. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. Have you just done a 31.9? There's just no race to be had anymore. My car, my truck's broken. There's nothing left for me to do anymore. Now I'm just wasting time. Well, I need a caution anyway if I want to get this thing up to speed, so I guess I go long for pit strategy. That was, uh, what else am I supposed to do? I'm not going to be competitive anyway without having uh, this damage fixed. This is just painfully boring. Flag. That's all there is to it. There's really nothing even to talk about. It's a totally boring race right now. I don't know if I can even upload this, to be honest. If it just looks like this for the rest of the way. Seventeen. Oh, 16th? Someone leave? Wait, what happened? Pass someone, I guess. Exactly, you know. What we did. Just say thank you, I guess. Left cars? I don't know. Go 
Hello, Gavin. Outside. Outside, clear. Thanks. <sighs> Gavin, a couple spots up ahead. Hopefully he didn't get any damage at the start there like we did. Maybe he had an okay time. Waiting for a caution or something, I guess. Maybe it'll happen whenever guys are pitting in. Outside. It's just gonna pass me on the outside, I guess, with this dented up car, truck, whatever. Get around on me if you wanna pass me, I guess. Clearly, you're not even faster than me. You can't go through that. You can't go three and four without getting sideways. That lap was at thirty-one point nine. Oh, this is awful. Oh, something happening. 26 in the wall, hard maybe? Okay, Colton, the next car is Ferraria. So, like I said, we're just gonna have to go long because we need a caution in order to be competitive anyway. I don't want to go so long that just completely ruined or something, I guess, but... Maybe we can get a little bit of draft here. I don't know. faster once we pit. Figure if I've got damage and I'm still not overheating or even close, then I probably can deal with one more percentage on the tape. <laughs> not gonna change anything. We're halfway in the race. When the race we're gonna get some people pitting I imagine at some point here soon. I don't like rooting for your wrecks, but we obviously need it here, and uh, green flag pit stops are going to be a good opportunity for stuff to happen. Don't hit the wall. Jeez, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. My six is getting tight, looks like. I'm 
Around him. Got the 20 catching up to us, though. I haven't heard about any pitting yet. Sky will get by us with his better towers and not damaged truck, I presume. Five laps of fuel. Okay, Gotta wreck, do it now. Look, got some arrow there or something. Jenkins, who's the leader picking now? There go some leaders. Wreck now or forever hold your peace. You've got about three laps of fuel left. You've just done a 14, only two more laps of fuel. The car in front is Johnston. I'm pitting in right here. Who knows even if we'd fix this damage if this truck's gonna be back to normal, let's be honest. Probably not. Everyone seems to be pitting just fine. Hitting in here. Did so I just hear door banging for like a whole bit of behind me? Hitting the side of the house. Three. Heading this time. One. You're in the top ten. Right here. Twelve and a half seconds, and it's affecting me that bad. Jeez. Pit this lap. In this lap. Did we get any of it fixed? <laughs> that did go. Wow, 0. 0.6 seconds. Can you believe it? What a difference. Also, I spun my tires for 20 and a half years, wasting all of my time. Your exit's clear. Watch the white line. This stinks. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Left track up high. Clear outside. Twelve. 
and we're going to drive on these tires. Past this guy. He's just going to fly right by me again. We had pretty late and we're still 12th. Like, we still gain spots somehow, so that's kind of interesting. Is the 1% tape gonna kill me? <laughs> no, Kuchi, so he's way too paranoid. Did we just have a lot of people have trouble during pits or something? I'm not sure what's going on. It's nice having this guy's draft, though. Come back, sir. Please. I have a parachute on the front of my truck. I need your help. Hey, is he listening? <laughs> Came back to me a little bit there. Gavin's up there in 10th. He's looking for the top 10. I don't know how I gained spots. I guess people must have sped or something. fuel. The lap time was at 1.7. 43.65 on the right sides. Not surprising, I just I can't not be on the right front with this setup. Don't really have an option whenever you're basically flat footing at the whole track except for here. And here you're just barely lifting off, so what difference does that make? I guess if we can still pull into P12 after getting some damage, I will not be too upset. I imagine we're probably going to be passed, though, later in this run. Very nice of this guy to slow down for me in 3 and 4, though. <laughs> guarantee you he's probably like just being smart and saving tires through there but allows me to keep up in his draft which is worth some time wonder who out here uh, ended up having trouble in the pits I don't think we have anyone coming up behind us or anything. 
it doesn't look like it right now. If I do catch this guy, there's no way I'm even trying to pass him. His draft is way too valuable for me right now. I feel a little tighter. Just barely, though. Some lap traffic appearing up ahead, looks like. modulating the throttle a tiny bit to make sure I'm able to stay on my line. Eleven's driving away a little bit now. there. I know I was entering more shallow so I figured I had to let off more but I overdid it. Kevin still up there in 10th? Still looking to get himself a top 10. Tracks now feeling tighter, but we've got no. I don't think they're gonna catch us from behind or anything. Levin's catching that lab truck in a very bad spot, looks like. I wonder if he lost any time in that exchange. Not sure he did. Too soon. 
fun up near the lead, right, well, I guess. Cool. I put tape on my nose and now it's tight. Um, anything but tight. Some draft from the guy uh, lap down ahead, but also a little bit of arrow, it felt like. Right job. Make it a little bit tighter. Went from cutting turn left side to too much turn. But uh, I think it's pretty good. There is not anything to talk about here. This is just like the most boring race. No one's gonna watch this. <laughs> There's Gavin. Gavin Cameo right there. Wowzers. Maybe I can clickbait my video a whole bunch being like, famous YouTube Gavin. Griffin2448. In a race? Exclamation part <laughs> point. Question mark? And then like crazy emojis in the thumbnail. And then you get this. It's just a horribly boring race. Nothing happens, except for getting arrow damage immediately and being completely out of contention before the race barely even starts. What a thriller. And this race is going to be over soon. Is it over yet? I'm just gonna call this like boring do not watch or something. <laughs> Mustn't watch. <laughs> yeah, that's probably about it. Like, at least whenever it's just a horrible wreck fest travesty, then there's lots to see. And even if the racing's terrible, then it's like, well, uh, at least we got to look at this car something. Here it's just empty track the whole time. This is my mustn't watch. We are set to gain eye reading from this though somehow. 14 eye reading. It's ridiculous. I believe we have four X, yeah, from whatever happened at the start there. I'll look at it. I don't know if, like, I mean, I just couldn't see what was happening. I had guys below me that were maybe on the apron. We had guys on my outside. Like, maybe I was too high up the track. I don't know. I couldn't see. Like, it's, <laughs> I just couldn't see. So, I don't know. I'll take a look at it, but, um, Guys probably shouldn't be entering the corner on the apron. You've got two left to go. It's probably not good. Who knows, maybe it didn't even unfold like I think it did. Yeah, it was just dumb. Who knows? We'll know in a minute. So we got two laps to go. Leader's already at the start-finish line back there. I think the 11 got real tight and almost got on the wall or something. He was really high up the track. We've actually been reeling Gavin in. But obviously we don't have enough time. It's just been a little bit at a 
a little bit Three shot at a time. I wish I had some. <laughs> I mean, green is cool, yeah, but... Fun. I don't know, it was weird. I had a tank. Temperature was no different, but killed the handler. Go in, boys. Get around, guys. I felt like I was driving with half a truck the whole time. That's obviously dramatic. More like 95% of the track. Really fast that first time, man. Yeah, I wish I would have been able to run that second one with you guys. But I still somehow got 12, so. I'll take it. Okay, we'll get him next time. I cannot type. Uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe it was going to be that slow anyway, but it sure felt like a Sure felt like I was down on straightaway power. All right, so let's check out the incidents. See if I'm uh, to blame for anything here. Not exactly sure what happened. So lap one. Ooh, 24 coming down the track. 10 kind of just gets in the back of them. 24 going uh, for a little bit of a detour. Twenty seven hitting the wall pretty hard. So it kind of just runs into the back of the 17 and they all kind of get stacked up. And then I'm just gonna watch it from here. Like what is the one doing? Like why are you guys driving down here? Like, I see these guys entering on the apron. Yeah, head stinks. I wish I had triple monitors right there. So I could see like that they were able to get onto the track. I don't know.
And that's still not a caution. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Four Y right there. Like, I'm just following this. Kind of just following this line right here. I'm following the guy ahead. The 12. Like, the tw I guess maybe the 12 doesn't know the situation. I guess I could have been. I could have been tighter to the guy on the left, but I don't know, like, if there's going to be another guy down there pushing him up. Uh, here's a crazy idea don't enter the turn on the apron. <laughs> All right, it's on your win, dude. Do what you want and don't worry about uh, anybody else. Hmm. Stinks. I know I'm like fixated on this, but this was like the only thing that happened the entire race, so. I feel like the 12 can give more room if he's three wide. But it wasn't even normal three wide, it was like four wide. Right here. Like, we're basically four wide. I don't know. Uh, moral of the story don't enter the. Okay. Don't enter the corner on the apron. I guess. Everybody's all kinds of screwed up after all that. But I think all we're gonna get for the rest of the time is probably just wall hits. Probably not even that many since we got a 4.7k in here. Probably just gonna be pretty sparse. That guy hit the wall pretty good right there. So, probably not going to be much to see here. Just tires getting older and such. Did I hit the wall? Oh, I guess I did. I don't remember that. I was probably asleep at that point. Just like nothing happening. Passing me. Kind of curious what we're going to see when it comes to the pit stops. If, we, if anything happened there. I don't know if guys got, you know, penalties or what. Guy's diving in on that guy. <sighs> yeah, even the incidents were boring in this one. Here's something happening on green flag pit stops. A lot of nothing, but something's happening. Interesting. We have the 9 retaliating on the 8. It's a weird set of circumstances here. What is happening? Like, maybe the 9's upset that the 8 dive did the dive bomb because he wants to pit here. 
and he decides like, well, I'm just going to pit anyway because the only reason you're on the inside of me is because you hit the dive bomb on me. And so he actually gets a better pit entry than he does, but then gets run into the back of, and then probably caused him to speed, which I imagine made him mad, and then he's retaliating on the eight. So, I guess it's a case of, if my race is ruined, so is yours. You know, he kind of just mildly inconvenienced him, unless he also got... Nah. He didn't. He finished behind me, though, so I guess thanks for your help, nine car. Is this my pit stop? No. It's, uh, I want to see my pit stop, though, just so we have something to look at. What number am I? Thirteen. There we go. I'm gonna pit stop look. I felt like I did it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I closed up on you know, the guy head pretty well. I mean, he's a lap down, so maybe he's not trying too hard. Did we have anyone behind me to kind of judge off of? Did this guy? No, he already pit. Be cool to have someone to kind of like uh, compare. But, you know, maybe if uh, this guy was trying hard. Nah, I don't think he was. I was happy with the pit entry though. Um, didn't get any speeding or anything. Which I imagine the 9 did, and maybe a couple other guys had issues during pits. This guy was running me down at one point on the same lap, I think, wasn't he? Didn't he pass me, or was close to passing me? Maybe he had issues. I don't know. But anyway, continuing with the incidents, whatever stuff we might find. Oh, I don't know if we count that for Gavin hitting the wall. <laughs> we got pretty close. There's a wall hit. You knew it was coming. <laughs> and we're just going to get some wall taps all the way to the end. And uh, the end is here. So that was it. Sorry, that was pretty boring. Uh, really, nothing happened, to be honest with you, except for the stuff at the start that made my truck not 100% anymore. Uh, I don't think it made it, it made a huge difference, but it was enough that I was losing time on the straightaways, and obviously, that's not good. Um, thankfully, that second half of the race, I was able to follow the 11 and uh, help the arrow situation by following them and actually ended up finishing better than my car number which is really all i could have hoped for i feel like maybe i could have done better maybe even a uh, battle gavin or something but that's okay uh, we survive 4x in a long open race not gonna matter i'm still gonna be 499 and uh that'll do it if you stuck it out for this one i appreciate you a lot uh Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next time.